Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio, sending supporters to space. And uh, we are down here. I finished the module factory. Uh, so what I've done is I've just created some red circuits over here and uh, changed up the build. Uh, Can gave me a different build, and this is what I wanted to do originally, but couldn't think of how to do it while I was designing it. So this actually has a copper cable machine inserting into four um, red circuits, and you guys had suggested that, and I said you couldn't fully beacon it because I didn't really understand what you meant, but you probably meant this, so my bad. Um, but yeah, this should work better. I changed the green circuits a little bit to actually have a cable thing insert into the uh, circuit thing uh, two different points to kind of help with that so it shouldn't run out of cable and uh, then we've placed modules I have one and a half builds here because this is actually how many I would need however they don't seem to be running fully and it's a combination of not quite enough circuits which I already expanded iron is lacking so I'll have to add in another iron outpost don't worry not on camera um, probably I mean there's one here that's nine million it's really easy to tie in um, so I'll probably just do that off camera on a stream or something. Um, that was rude. Wow. Well, this actually ties in nicely to what we're going to do this episode. You guys have said many times that you could watch an entire episode of nuking stuff, and that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> um, I just need to let this run. There's not much else I can do uh, until it kind of catches up a bit. So, are you? Aren't, did, what, it's done, right? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go exploring, maybe find some more resources, and we're going to nuke stuff. Me, if this isn't the episode you want, then you have to wait till next time. But you guys said you like watching me nuke stuff. I enjoy it. It's kind of a low-key thing. I can kind of talk to you guys about other stuff and just have a lot of fun. And we'll just let that thing run in the background. Like I said, it's not actually doing 10 a minute. Um, it's lacking a few things, one of which is power. I expanded nuclear. Um, I added two more reactors, which I do need to radar so we can go do that real quick. Um, in the power dips, um, like when the trains come in, there's the bot surges, right? Which make the roboports kick on to high gear and such. And then there's power surges still, even though I expanded the nuclear, um, and steam. So yeah, that's part of the problem. It only does about six a minute, which is not great. It's better than the, you know, not even two a minute we were doing before. We weren't even doing two a minute. Um, it's not great. I may just leave it as is, maybe upgrade a few things and just AFK, to be honest. <laughs> uh, just let it build up modules. And then we can start going into the mega base. And really, that's that's all that is really required. Like, we're not actually that far from the mega base. You know, people were commenting, they were like, um, you know, people were like, you know, Extreme, you're on episode 57 and you, you haven't really launched anybody into space yet. And. You know, this thing's going really slow, which is true. I do not fault them for commenting that. But um, what I did mention um, in reply is that you got, we, we all have to remember, because sometimes I forget this as well, is it's not linear. Um, yeah, we're on episode 58 now, and we've only launched, you know, however many, four people into space. But that's because we've been building up to the mega base. And once we get to the mega base, and it's in full production, we're going to be launching, you know, like, 80 people an episode, you know, so it it's gonna go real quick once we get there um, So here's a nuclear. I've expanded it. It's not pretty. I messed up a few things I was like, you know what? I just want my damn power. So it's what we have. We now have a six reactor set up um, It's pretty much the max steam engine or uh, steam turbines that can support um, And power like it's okay now, but it does dip So what we need to do is just let the modules run um, and once we start getting kind of close, I'm gonna bump up all the beacons and furnaces and assembler um, Storages in in this space to give it something to do and get those ready um, and then I Mean like I said, we're not that far off. We need to build the switcheroo, which is pretty much done and then just tie in the smelters which are pretty much ready to go um, design wise and then just design the I'm looking for nukes. We have 25 nukes. That should be enough to have some fun with, right? Um, what else do we need? That's about it. I'm gonna. Where's a tank? I know I had. I have like five tanks on this map. Um, and then, well, there's a tank over there. I suppose I could just make another one. Do I want to just make another one? Probably. Um, and then. You know build the science builds and stuff and I mean sure you know it's gonna take a while it's not like that happens instantly but in the grand scheme of things 
we're not that far off from getting some serious um, Mega Base stuff going. So I do want to just assure you guys of that. And that's going to be really interesting. Like building those builds in the smelters, I think, is going to be a nice uh, change of pace because it's going to be different. It's going to be on a whole nother scale. And, uh, you know, come on, dudes. It's, uh, it's just, it's going to be nice, I think. And while we head down here, uh, I added on stream, I think it was, I streamed a little bit earlier today, I added a power switch over here, just so if I want to, I can cut power to the modules without tearing up random power poles. Uh, I added a switch right over here. Let me just quickly explain this for anyone who doesn't know how this works. Uh, what you do is you take a power switch and you have two separate network power networks. So this one's connected here. This one covers half here, and I've just disconnected these two poles by shift left clicking on them, and then I just had to rewire it to here with copper wire. And you wire one to one side, one to the other side, and then I can just go in in here and turn it on and off, and it will cut the power to this whole area. So um, you can see power is actually okay, more than okay. I wonder some things are turned off. I think um, yeah, we're not doing we're not doing many modules. It's uh it's not good. Um, I need to tweak some things. You know, every, it requires tweaking. You know, there's, it's, it's not perfect every time at the first time. Uh, we do have 10 rock fuel. That should be enough. And, well, I say should be. Let's go pick some up. I have like a thousand in here. So, let's pick some of that up. Halt. Tank. This thing needs some braking research. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so let's do that. Nope. Oh, wrong slot. So where do we want to go? Uh, we could head up this way. I wouldn't mind actually exploring around here a bit. If we want to find just more resources, it's better to go in one direction. Um, going this way wouldn't be bad, but we're kind of in the wrong place. I wouldn't mind exploring this way slightly, just to kind of... Now let's go up by the coal. We haven't gone up by the coal in a very long time, and uh, it wouldn't hurt to go out that direction. So like I said, it's just going to take time... You know, even at four or five modules a minute, if I just AFK, you know, while I have dinner and all that stuff, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. It won't be too bad. So, in terms of the multiplayer series, uh, I've discussed with Will and we figured out something that I think will be quite interesting. Um, it's somewhat similar to this series, and when I say somewhat, I mean not... Well, it's hard to explain without giving it away. I'm not going to give it away. Um... I, it is. It's somewhat similar to this series, but not, like, that similar. So it will be different. Of course, it will be multiplayer. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think I think you guys are going <laughs> to like it. Uh, and then, yeah, so that's the deal there. We have figured something out for that. I think hopefully we will start it maybe the end of this week or next week. Um, and what's going to happen there is I'm going to reduce the number of episodes on this series because... Uh, you guys seem to be having a hard time catching up anyway. And then, you stupid robot. And then, uh, so this may be, I'll reduce to maybe like five episodes a week or something. And just do kind of a lot of off-camera work. Because like I said, I mean, the, with the models, there's literally probably seven or eight hours I could just AFK and let it run. And, and that's what it needs, right? I mean, <laughs> that's just what it needs. You know, I'm not really counting game time, so that's fine. Uh, you know, and I can just do that and kind of maybe condense the episodes a little bit more so it doesn't take as long uh, and then the multiplayer probably do one a day um, and that's the interesting thing is you guys seem not to be able to keep up with this but when I do one a day with a multiplayer series no one ever complained about not keeping up um, of course I was doing two a day of this for a long time so I think people got really behind oh that biter base is close holy hell these dudes are just like camping out on the front lawn. <laughs> They're like, "Hey guys, let's uh, let's just move in right next to this coal patch." <laughs> Looks like someone has something established there, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably do that, and it'll be quite interesting because it's something that you guys can pretty directly influence, um, which I think is important in terms of like. Uh, just in terms of make, keeping it interesting and viewer involvement and stuff. It's like, it's hard to explain, like I said, without giving it away. But it is something the viewers on both Will Stream and on the YouTube videos um, influence. 
um, in terms of a goal. And it is a fairly um, solid, straightforward goal. So I don't think we'll really burn out like we did on the relearning thing because we had like no goal there. Um, and it is going to be, of course, going towards a mega base, um, probably about 2k science packs a minute because we are limited more in multiplayer than I am here in single player. Um, but, and, you know, again, it's uh, multiplayer alone, I think, with Will and Mojo and stuff just brings a whole lot of... <laughs> Uh, um, entertainment, and you guys have said that yourselves. Get wrecked. Never gets old to watch. Let me tell you. All right, and then uh, so you know, there's just that, and then also you know, we're gonna be doing maybe a few things differently, and we've decided what we're gonna do is we're going to do a true rail world because I've been thinking back, right? I've been thinking back on the zero fifteen sim map. And honestly, that was probably my favorite series I've ever done. Um, reminiscing. Like, at the time, it was really fun. And I don't know that at the time I would have said it was the most fun I've ever had um, in a series. But thinking back on it, it's like, that was really probably one of my favorite series I've ever done. Um, and the viewers seemed to really, really like it. And I think the reason, part of it, was the trains, right? And it was the big builds, the big production numbers. And... I'd like to do that again, obviously with, you know, an actual goal in mind, which we have, but uh, we're going to do, so for the map, the point I'm getting to is, for the map, we're going to do a true rail world in regards to having, we're going to have the resources really spread out, like actually really spread out, like it's spread out as this is probably more, um, but have them be like super rich so that when we do find them, you know, it's, it's worth it. And then... Um, so that it kind of makes up for the distance because we don't mind the distance like in terms of like building and training and stuff but the game does in terms of performance it does hurt the performance and the save file size um, so that'll kind of make up for it you know we will have to go a long way and have these massive rail lines but it's like when we find a patch you know it's gonna last us for like 10 hours or 20 hours um, and then uh, kind of with that, because we were discussing, and this may seem absurd if you watch the 015 sim, um, it see, uh, we, we kind of need to almost spread things out more than we did in the 015 sim. Um, our train network was actually a little bit crunched, believe it or not, and caused some problems. So having things even more spread out may actually be good. Uh, but yeah, so I know I'm not talking about this series, but I figured this would be kind of just a nice relaxing thing. You guys did say that you could watch Nuking like for an entire episode. So hopefully you were serious because that's what we're doing. Um, and I, I absolutely love this. Like I said, this, this never gets old. <laughs> never gets old. Um, so we're just going to clear this out, look for some stuff. I, do, I did want to give you an update, though, on on the other series, on the multiplayer, what's going on there. Um, I'm hoping it will maybe pick things back up with the channel. If you remember last episode, I did mention some difficulties and growth issues with the channel that are happening Hoping that will pick it back up. I will be glad to get back playing with the guys. This series will not end again. Uh, I do feel I should mention that just to let you know um, very solidly that this series will not end. Uh, I do plan on completing the goal here. I may just reduce it a little bit, condense the episodes a little bit. And uh, I think that's probably better overall because it seems like you guys may want that anyway. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on. And, yeah, now we're just going to focus on wrecking these stupid bugs. I mean, this is... Like, come on. Like, seriously. We've probably killed enough of these guys. Don't they realize... Oh, jeez. That this is our planet at this point. I mean... I, th I think we've exterminated enough of their uh, species to, to send a message, I would hope. Alright, you little jerks. At some point here, we should be getting past the vanilla generation and into the RSO generation. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I cuss a lot when, I, uh, when I'm fighting because a lot of times I'm about to die. My fighting is almost as precarious as my train driving, and that's saying a lot. Uranium ammo absolutely wrecks stuff. Ooh, here's some copper. I don't think... Well, yeah, I'm not going to look, seeing as I'm being chased. Help! Uh, I don't really want to waste a nuke on that. But that's cutting it close. Oh, too late. We, we already aggroed them. Great, good going. I will nuke that, though. I keep... I need to remember to keep switching weapons. I have been, okay, but there, it's, all it takes is that one time, guys. 
<laughs> All it takes is that one time to think you switch weapons and end up nuking yourself in the face. Um, I'm sure most of you have experienced that. It happens to the best of us. All right. Thank you, save. Actually, autosave isn't getting that bad. Yeah, these are personal lasers. Like, if you haven't tried out personal lasers in 015, I highly recommend it. Um, you may have a bad impression of them from 014 because they were absolute crap. Um, kind of like the cough solar panels are now. Um, personal solar panels, rather. But, uh, in 015, they're quite good. So a million. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I see the tip of something. Oh, that's water. Thought it was iron for a second. I was excited. Uh, let's see, there's some more water. This is actually some really interesting water formations here. Speaking of water, um, in the multiplayer thing, what we're going to do is also bump up water a little bit, because uh, I think it does make things interesting. Um, not really necessarily a water war. Youch! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of worms I didn't notice. Um, not necessarily a water world, but bump up the water a little bit, just so, you know, make some interesting landscapes and uh, things to work around. Okay, like, really... Come on, dudes. Aren't we out of this uh, vanilla generation yet? Nah, oh, jeez. I needed more nukes. <laughs> Believe it or not, I needed more nukes. The bases are not a problem. The biters themselves are not really a problem. But those big worms, them dudes still pack a hell of a punch. Ouch. That's what I love, right? I can just go do this and have fun, and my modules thing will grind away. It may be not as fast as I want, but like I said, it does require some tweaking, which I didn't want to do on camera, because, you know, we kind of messed with it most episode last episode, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm trying to... I'd really like to get out of this vanilla gen area, so the uh, new RSO settings take effect here. My evolution must be pretty high. At this point. I'm guessing like 95, 96. Let's just, uh, let's check. Evolution. 0.95. Are you kidding me, dude? Swear to God. What? What? Yeah, you better. Oh, you better. You better stay there. If he starts killing my nuclear. Oh, oh man. If he starts killing my nuclear, he, these, these dudes think that, that they're having a bad time now. It's gonna be a little mini biter nuclear winter for these guys if he touches one of my reactors. That's all it takes. It just and this has happened before. Like the dudes just don't get it. This has happened before. All it takes is one one little biter idiot to make a stupid move, and the rest of their species has to pay. If he could just keep his claws to himself and not mess with my stuff. I wouldn't be out here nuking these guys' homes by the dozen. Oh, jeez. If that... That's a nuke-worthy base if I've ever seen one. I don't die in the process. Oh, this is... Oh, jeez. Help! Save game. Help! <laughs> Help me! Fire! Oh, <laughs> I clinched for that one. <laughs> oh, this is a this this forest is gonna be the death of me. Move trees. Come on. I hate trees. Stuck me in the middle of the damn jungle. I have one nuke. Ouch. Yep. Come on, we should definitely be outside vanilla generation. A little heart shaped. Never mind, it's not a heart. 26 million, that ain't bad. Ooh, there's some iron. Oh, jeez, that is an iron patch. Holy moly. And I was talking to Will, and... He kind of reminded me that I may actually have an issue down here with these massive patches. Is you can't actually get a roboport, um, full roboport coverage on these without sticking one in the middle. This one actually has a very, very conveniently placed dot for a roboport. Um, 
But like this one, and probably this one, I don't know if I can actually get full Roboport coverage on them, which is an issue um, without putting one in the middle, and then you have to like rearrange your miners. Uh, actually, several of these have very convenient spots in the middle for potential Roboport. All right, we're going to have to nuke our way through this. There we go. Cleared a nice area. We'll just explore down here. Oh, come on. No way. That's going to drive me nuts. No way am I leaving that. <laughs> this actually works really well. This is actually fantastic. I love this. That's, like, actually way faster than running over it with a tank. You just shoot your way through the forest. Uh, we have a little blank spot here. Let's see if we can zip through here without dying. I'd like to get this explored, this little chunk in the middle here. Come on, we can do it. Luckily we can outrun these dudes. This is uh, still pretty biter infested, lots of corpses, that's always wonderful to see. Uh, I thought I could take on that base when I saw the tip of that. I was like, yeah, we can do that, and then nope. I can get the edge bases, but once you get in close enough to shoot the other ones, those worms and stuff, hit you and then then you're really in danger of getting surrounded and that's at almost worse than the worm pot shots is uh I mean once you get surrounded it's not good where's where's my uh wow we're we're really far out here I need faster trains please ooh so the one I can pick off guys thought they could hide over here I'll have none of that Because see, shooting your actual gun slows you down, so when I do that, I risk getting surrounded. That's why I almost do it in spurts. Kind of like stutter stepping. Just explore down here, make sure I didn't miss something on the coast. This is a very nice coastline. This is actually a huge body of water if this connects to up there. I wonder if it does. In fact, is that copper? Oh, that is copper. Up we go. <laughs> I knew I missed something on the coast. See, my intuition told me. It's pretty crappy copper, but it's there nonetheless. Can I uh, explore this? Okay. I actually want to see if this does connect. It's a lot of, uh, it's a fair bit of worms. Please, no ouchies. If you focus fire down the worms, it can actually, I mean, you can do pretty good. So when there's a lot of big worms that we seem to struggle. Okay, so this either doesn't connect or there's kind of a big area that sticks out here. I'm giving the feeling it doesn't connect. It's an uh, interesting world gen. Forest got cut in half. Ooh, desert. Oh, only a little patch. Probably explored out way too much, but... Oh, oil! This better be some pretty damn good oil. Oh, yeah. 3,800, 700 and something, 700 and something. It's a lot. It's like almost, come on, game. Almost 5,000 percent right there, not bad. Looks like we are getting into the RSO generation. And I'm pre-exploring just because I will need these resources at some point. It saves me time and I did want to do a little kind of fun relaxing nukeage episode. It's amazing, you know, you always underestimate how many nukes you're going to use, or at least I do. Brought 25 nukes and they just disappear just like that. It's like when you eat popcorn or something. Like, you have a whole tub of it, and then before you know it, it's just gone. Alright, so... Just gonna explore up here. Ooh, more oil. Yes, please. Love me some oil. Alright. Ooh, doggies. 4,700. 130. Well, that's crap. 832. Wow, how does, how does, like, such a bad one get mixed in with these others? It's kind of odd. Oh, even more up here. Man, this is like the mother load of oil. Jeez. 
Whatever happened to that little biter? Did he, uh, is he still just chilling here? Thank God these guys are broken. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, my nuclear would be destroyed. So how far out are we? So this comes out. Oh, that's not that bad. It's actually not that bad at all. If you compare from where I am to home, compared from here all the way down to here, it's really not that bad. I think we'll head back to our tank. Uh, let me just close out this little bit of unexplored in here. Man, that is a jungle. Jeez. There we go. Great. You stupid trees. Alright, so we found some copper, some iron. Well, I say some, but quite a bit. 46 million iron, 26 plus 12 plus 9, you know, like some odd 48, 50 million copper, um, a ton of oil, which is really good. And, uh, yeah, for some reason, oil is a thing that I'm always worried about running out of. Okay, did you guys not see me? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's it. You little sh punks. That's it. You've done it now. You're going to be the demise of your species. I don't care what it takes, I am murdering these guys. Screw whatever's dying in my base, these guys are gonna suffer for it. Ouch. It's a, uh, it's quite a train of angry biters. I just gotta pick them off like that. Ouch, jeez. Trees! Help. Oh, you guys don't stand a damn chance now. Killed off all your spawners. There's no reinforcements. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, these behemoth worm or spitters hurt like as much as a big, uh, big worm. Alright, time to head back before something important dies. Okay, you can kill the steam, just don't touch the damn nuclear. Where am I going? Aw, oh, jeez, it's so far away. I need- oh, I saw a mod. It reminds me, I saw a mod I think I'm gonna get. It was the attack helicopter mod. I was looking on the mod portal for something to spotlight. Um, by the way, the spotlight was on the automatic trains mod, train builder mod, if you haven't seen that. A uh, really, really cool mod, and Hope actually made an automatic train deconstruction mod to go along with it anyway i saw the attack helicopter mod and it looks super cool it has its like own animations and you can shoot nukes from it and it has a gun and it obviously flies fast as it is a helicopter i think i'm gonna get it i really i really really want that it's uh i think it's gonna it would be a great addition then we can just go nuke everything from our helicopter so i'm gonna head down that make concluded for this episode, guys. You don't need to see me running all the way down. I'll go take care of these stupid bugs. Just, just wait. Just wait until I get enough nukes to completely wipe them off the planet ten times over. And you can bet I'm going to do it ten times over. I'm going to nuke the dead bases. Wow. They seem to not touch my nuclear. I mean, that's, that's good. It's, it's definitely better to kill the steam. That's pretty easy to replace. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. I know there's no building or anything with something different, but we got to nuke 25 nukes worth of things, do some discussion, really relaxing episode for me, which I think I really needed. And, uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, as always. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.